Hey, hey guys, it's Wolfsbane again. Guess what we're doing? That's right, it's time for some Earthbound. I love the, the uh, intro that they have to this game. It's just so intimidating looking. It's just that, you know, they don't actually have a scene like this in the game. Spoiler alert, so, uh, not saying it's false advertising, but, uh, kind of false advertising there, Nintendo. But yeah, if you guys don't know already, this is honestly my favorite Super Nintendo game. Just because, like, it's just so much different than the typical RPG. Like, this game injects so much humor and so many modern twists on it that it just, it, it makes it very interesting. Alright, we're gonna start a new game. Uh, just go medium. Stereo. Uh, what flavor do I want? Well, I don't really have any flavor, so I'm gonna go with plain. Oh, 90s RPGs. You give no room for longer names. So I guess I'm gonna have to do the same thing that I do with Pokemon Yellow. Just shorten it a little to Wolf. That's fine, you know, it's fine. Whatever, whatever. It's cool, it's cool. Name her two. I think I, I know who I'm gonna name this after, like, one of my friends in our little Let's Play group, so to speak. Since he's like, you know, the most, uh, the most magical, you know what I mean? Like, kind of the most into, um, what the fuck's the word I'm looking for? Metaphysical, there we go. Metaphysical. Um, I can't fit his name in here either. I know. I think I'm gonna name this person after a certain Ridley. You know who you are. But it's funny because we were actually, well, I actually mentioned, um, cosplaying as Earthbound characters. And you gotta, you have to know that it would be pretty funny to see this guy dress up like Paula, considering that he's like six foot three and about as big as a house. Alright, who are we gonna name him after? Oh, I know. But I can't use this person's real name. Because it's YouTube, and if we try to, you know, get a new job pretty soon and this whole thing doesn't work out, uh, it might not be a good thing if they, fi if they find us by our real names. So, I'm gonna name my fellow atheist friend, The J-Man. How fitting. Okay, that's good. Oh man, what do I name him? I have no idea. It's not like we, we don't have like a fourth person in our in our let's play group. So I'm gonna have to improvise. Uh, default names. Let's see. Wait, ramen? Are you serious? <laughs> the 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 character in this game who's blatantly Asian. One of the default names for him is ramen. Uh... Maybe that's a little racist. I mean, I'm just throwing it out there. It might not be a good idea. But you know, since they're kind of doing that, I think I'm just going to go all out on this one. Just be like, fuck it. Let's name him ramen. Let's spell it correctly. And... Yep, yep, don't give a fuck. Don't care, don't care. Don't care if I offend people. Name your pet. Well, since I actually do, I actually do want to get a dog in the near future. German Shepherd specifically, named Alex. I think that would work for this. But yeah, um, kind of the reason why. Ooh, ooh. Oh, favorite food. I'm gonna be totally immature about this. I mean, they gave me the opportunity, so let's see. Um, so many options. Let's see. Oh, I know. P, small letters. E, O, P, L, P. We're feeding you people! Woo! 
But yeah, back to the dog thing. Um, I actually had the idea of naming a German Shepherd puppy as soon as I can afford one. Aww, I know, so cute. After, um, you know, one of my favorite literary characters. I kind of got the idea for my cousin since she named her dog Bella. Yeah, I know, pretty lame. But I was thinking about naming my dog, my, my future dog, Alex, after Clockwork Orange. There's gonna come a time whenever I explain that to like my family members and they're gonna think that I'm so fucked up. Are you sure? Yes, I am very sure. Ah, so ominous. The year is 1990X. There's actually a theory on this going around. I don't know if you guys know that um the year that this takes place in is supposed to be 2000 despite this, you know, taking place in the 90s supposedly because of how um like the setting is supposed to be potentially apocalyptic and how um how the year ends with an X. So, you know, 1990 something plus the Roman numeral for X being 2000. Y2K kind of makes sense there. But I think the real reason why this is is because um the release dates for Japan and America for this game were completely different. Like I think for Japan it was like 94 and America was 95. Yeah, that's uh, definitely gonna wake a kid up. Let's see here, go in my sister's room. What's up, sis? Oh, come here, bitch. Talk to me. Hey, bro, did this not wake you up? Are you freaked out? Oh, I don't know. It was just a meteorite crashing in my hometown. I think that might startle me a little bit. Who takes it? Uh, I'm gonna equip this. And what is going on downstairs? What's up, Mom? What's going on? What was that noise? Well, if you don't seem scared, are you nuts? And now you want to go check it out? Oh, okay. Sneak out of the room anyway, even if I ask you not to. Change out of your jammies before you go. What if Ness was, like, a really angsty teen? Like, sweetie, maybe it's a good idea if you change out of your jammies before you go outside and explore what's the beginning of a horror movie. Shut up, Mom! You don't know me! You don't know what it's like to be me! You don't understand me! You know, in this case, it would actually be true for Ness because, I mean, even though he's just like a 13-year-old, how many people know what it's like to have the pressure on you to save the world from an alien race that's pretty much trying to conquer the universe. For once, the, uh, the, uh, little shit teenager would actually have a point. Random items. Don't care what's been on that bread roll, I'm gonna eat it soon anyway. Ah, the joy of Earthbound. Being able to eat stuff out of the garbage without getting sick. Oh boy, it's the next door neighbor. You can go home now, tomorrow. I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite, for I have an ego. But yeah, he's, uh... This kid is pretty much like your little shit next door neighbor, who... Spoiler alert, is a villain. Love the cops in this. This is great. Wait, why are you shushing me? Why me? Why are you shushing me? Nice timing, Wolf. Will you do something about Pokey? Psh, I'm not friends with this kid. Uh, another spoiler alert. He tries to kill me in the end, so yeah. Not a friend of mine. That meteorite. Wait, that meteorite looks different than usual. Is this not the first time you've ever seen a meteorite? That's kind of weird. I mean, he's kind of acting like a meteorite is an everyday thing in this town. It was a real mess for a while. 
I was fine because I eat, I always eat garlic to help make my body stronger. Um, I hate to break this one to you, but it doesn't matter how much you work out in the case of a natural disaster. Like, if you get hit by a tornado, I don't think it matters how many push-ups you did that day. This guy is actually really creepy, though. Um, in the beginning, whenever you're walking around and, and on it, the uh, hometown in this, he, like, invites you to his basement and to, to show you, like, this weird statue that ends up being, like, a main boss and, like, later on in the game. Another spoiler alert! And just, like, the way he talks to you, it just kind of has, like, a molesty tone to it. Like, ooh, yes. You want to come down to my basement and see this thing I just discovered? Uh, it's so mystical. It'll be our little secret. Alright, guys, until next time.